perspective. I'm not putting any of that down. I'm just pointing out difference here between Eastern and Western concepts or philosophies of medicine. Then we get into specific pharmaceutical agents to deal with that specific illness or disease. And I'll talk somewhere in this talk a little bit more about pharmaceuticals and the problems we have with them. Uh, but most recently, our research has been focused on the human genome, which means we're looking at genes now to see what aberrations are occurring in a specific gene on a such and such chromosome that might be related to this or that disease. It's almost the ultimate form of reductionism. Now there are some insights that can come from that. But in contrast now, Eastern medicine looks at the whole body and looks and considers all disease to basically represent an imbalance that has taken place in human physiology and biochemistry. And it believes that the, uh, the return to health is not so much a matter of finding a specific drug that could be given as it is to find uh, balance, rebalancing substances from nature, which gets us into the whole arena of herbs and things like Ganoderma, which then represents a holistic approach to restoring balance and restoring and rejuvenating the body. Uh, so there, there's two very different ways of looking at all this. Now, what health benefits are claimed for Ganoderma lucidum, Ling Ji in the Chinese? For whole Ling Ji extracts, in vitro and in vivo, and that means in test tubes and petri dishes and also in animal and human systems in vivo, uh, Ling Ji extracts have shown to be analgesic, uh, which means that they're pain reducers, they're anti-allergy, they can reduce allergies, they, uh, inflammation in, the bron in bronchitis in the lungs it seems to be preventive. It has important anti-inflammatory characteristics. Now, the anti-inflammation thing has been of great interest to me in the last five years or so because very good studies are demonstrating clearly that almost all the chronic degenerative diseases of aging uh, have a base inflammatory component to them. In other words, uh, alterations in the immune system, since all inflammation in the body is produced by the immune system, alterations, weaknesses, or defects in our immune system are playing a role in the production of almost all chronic degenerative disease. Uh, I'll say a little bit more about that as we move on. But antibacterial characteristics, antiviral characteristics in these Lingji extracts, uh, it's also an antioxidant. And antioxidants, a very interesting arena. I was just reading another article in the New England Journal of Medicine and in the Journal of the American Medical Association today where studies now show that certain antioxidants were not effective in preventing cancer and certain antioxidants, in this case, vitamin C, vitamin E, and um, beta carotene were not effective in reducing uh, heart disease or myocardial infarction. But it's interesting to me, uh, being both uh, having a, a very good traditional allopathic medical training and also now having uh, developed a real interest in what I'll call natural product and wellness substances, uh, to see these studies, because the study, for example, on what they call the failure of antioxidants to reduce cardiac disease, uh, it doesn't prove anything of the sort. What they've done is taken vitamin C in, in a synthetic form, vitamin E in only its D-alpha form. Vitamin E really has six, um, uh, six types within it, four uh, tocopherols and four tocotrienols. And to me, you can't make any conclusion against antioxidants unless these things have been tested the way they occur in nature. Uh, the bottom line here is that these studies, even though they will be heralded in, uh, on your television sets as evidence that somehow these natural supplements don't work, don't prove anything of the sort, from my point of view as a scientist, they're very poor studies uh, that shouldn't even have been published. But at any rate, anti-tumor activity, uh, again, because this, uh, we are not allowed in this country by our FDA to make any claims regarding prevention or treatment of disease, I can't elaborate on this, but any of you who are health professionals 
and anyone else for that matter, you can go to Google or to PubMed, and you can read the, the rather significant studies that have been done with gamma, Ganoderma lucidum in controlling various types of neoplastic growth. Um, it supports healthy bone marrow. Antidepression. Now, there's an interesting one that I'm going to relate a little bit more to when we talk about the word adaptogen. But people with depression, we have used Prozac and, uh, and uh, Zoloft and a group of drugs uh, that sometimes have led people to suicide, uh, but, and, and many times they've been very helpful. But there are natural approaches to overcoming depression, and uh, Lingji extracts, uh, Ganoderma, have shown uh, real promise in that regard. Uh, the stuff also supports cardiac health and improves coronary artery blood flow. Uh, the very important additional feature is that they balance, this, that Lingji balances and supports the immune system. And, um, and therefore, it plays very important roles in this whole uh, inflammatory cascade that I mentioned earlier is now known to be um, a foundational um, part of almost all chronic degenerative disease, interestingly, including things that we don't classically call disease yet, like overweight and obesity, have very important inflammatory uh, components in their etiology. It also improves adrenal function, and that has to do with stress factors 